is where my permit goes. Bye bye, Smokies. Don't you just love the sound of the interstate in the morning? <laughs> uh, I do, because it means that I get to turn to my next map on Far Out, so it's pretty exciting. I am bypassing Standing Bear Hostel. Um, I've heard kind of mixed things about it, and I just would rather kind of maybe just skip over if it is what I think it could be. So. I've decided to book a, a bed at a hostel in Hot Springs, so I have about 15 or so miles there. They'll pick me up, bring me in, get me all clean, and recharge, and refed, and back to trail. But to get there, I gotta start off with a nasty climb up Snowbird Beak. Ugh. Is there an escalator around here somewhere? Come on. Oh. A little curious about what my heart rate is going up this climb. And I happen to see what my resting heart rate was. <laughs> before I woke up. It's as low as it's been on trail so far. Snowboard Peak coming up. let me down. I thought I only had 15 or so miles to um, Garenfield Gap where I could get picked up by Happy Nomads. Turns out I have like 20 from where I am here and it's a uh, 10:30. So I'm gonna maybe try to get service and call them back and say why don't we do tomorrow and if I don't then I'm just gonna kick it into gear and Get going, get to Karen Flow. <laughs> I've been really craving peanut butter and jelly. So I think when I get to town, I might get a loaf of bread, 
a jar of jelly, probably grape, maybe raspberry, and some smooth, creamy peanut butter, and just make sandwich after sandwich after sandwich. <laughs> That's all I've been craving. Holy smokes. Is this a sign up here? Is it here? Is this Garen Float Gap? This better be. Yeah, mama. Garen Float Gap. This is like a nice spot for me to wait and die until my ride gets here. <laughs> This is the only appropriate way to wait for your ride to the Happy Nomads. After 27 miles, when you thought it was only 15, 16 miles, just lay in the dirt and soak up some sun. Such a cool little spot. Got a nice patio set up out here. A fenced in patio over there screened in patio this nice setup in the front some books some guitar games cozy little area got loner clothes and towels a full kitchen you can use to cook and all that good stuff and a lounging area And then here's my private suite of six <laughs> because no one else is in here with me. <laughs> I got the lower bunk down here and then there's a massive bathroom in here. really cool setup here at Happy Nomads. They have like a stocked kitchen basically. So you can just kind of pick and choose what you want to eat if it's here or you can also get a ride into town. Five dollars per person. They also offer slack packing and shuttle rides. But check out their stocking. They have tea and coffee. They have pasta and sauce. Make yourself some spaghetti. They have mac and cheese and Oreos and bagels, staples for a hiker, lots and lots of carbs, and their fridge, stocked to the gills, eggs, beer, more beer, sauces, soda, what more does a hiker need? You know your girl's got to carve up for her big six mile slack pack into hot springs tomorrow. <laughs> got my laundry done, showered, and I'm going to do a slack pack tomorrow, get my resupply done, have some breakfast at the diner, and then come back to enjoy a zero here at the hostel.